So you submitted a sample to a sequencing center and you get the reads back. Now you're at a great crossroads in your life because this is a huge decision to make. What should I do first? Should I check to make sure that everything went okay in the lab? And I have just the organism I thought I had, which you would go in and use the taxonomic classification service. Or should I check to see that the sequencing center did a good job before I waste eons of time assembling it, analyzing it, and then at the very end, find out that those reads were bad. Well, I have to leave that choice up to you, but today I'm going to describe what you should do in the latter situation when you want to check the quality of your reads or do some manipulation of your reads, and that you would use the BBBRC Fast Q Utility Service. So you go into Tools and Services, and under Utilities, click on FastQ Utilities. When you open that up, you see there's a parameters box, a pipeline box, and a place for the reads. Under the pipeline box, it gives you a number of options. Trimming, pairing the filter. Sometimes when things come back from the sequencing center, the reads, there'll be more reads on the forward strand than the reverse strand or vice versa. This can be a problem with some of the assembly pipelines and cause them to fail. So this service can help you out here. FastQC describes the quality and a line means you can map reads to a particular genome, be it bacterial or vertebrate or even viral if you so desired. So that is this amazing service. And within the next videos that I'm going to present, I'll show you how to submit each of those jobs. And I'll also show you how to interpret the job results, how you find them, how you look at them. So join me for these later videos. Thanks. Bye.